Okay, now hopefully you've made your jar of comfort or, or comforting things. Um, and if you haven't, uh, I hope that you're ready to make it um, at some point during this week. Um, so I want to ask you a question before I read the story. And my question is, did you know that Jesus wants to comfort you when you're sad? He wants to make you feel better. Well, I'm going to read you a story in the Bible that shows Jesus doing that for his friends. Um, so this story is from the book of Mark, um, which is in the New Testament. And it's from chapter 7, verses 45 to 51. And it says this. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida, where he sent the people home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Late that night, the disciples were in their boat in the middle of the lake, and Jesus was alone on land. He saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. He intended to go past them, but when they saw him walking on the, on the water, they cried out in terror, thinking he was a ghost. They were all terrified when they saw him. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped. They were totally amazed. Okay, so what a really lovely story. Um, Jesus saw that his followers were really scared, they were worried, and they were working really, really hard to not end up falling out of their boat or, the, or to stop their boat from getting damaged by the wind and the waves. And Jesus went to go and comfort them. So he walked on the water, which is amazing in itself, but also he said to them, uh, where's it gone? It says, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. And then he stopped the wind, he stopped the storm. Um, but the really important part is, is he said, I am here. I don't know about you, but sometimes it helps to have somebody with you when you're feeling a bit rubbish. Um, and so one of the things, actually, I put it in my, in my little jar um, that helps us feel better is having somebody around us and maybe them hugging us or telling us some some kind or encouraging words but do you know what jesus wants to do that for us as well um so when you're feeling a bit rubbish something you can do is you can talk to god um, we've talked about this before talking to god is what prayer is and um you can do that anywhere and in any words all you have to say is god i'm feeling really bad or i'm feeling really um hurt or in pain i need you to comfort me and do you know what you will start to feel inside yourself comforted because one you will know that jesus is with you but two you'll know that he loves you and he wants to comfort you and we know he does because we've seen him do it before Okay, so um, it's a very short talk this week, um, but I want you to remember that um, as, as you go through this week, um, if you feel sad at all, or you've, or you've hurt yourself, or you're not feeling very well, or you're just feeling a little bit rubbish, try talking to God and asking him to comfort you. Okay, so I'm going to pray um, and then I'm going to wish you a lovely week. So. Father God, I thank you that you love us so much that you want to comfort us when we are feeling bad. Lord Jesus, I thank you that your Bible says that you will be with us when we look for you and when we need you. Um, Lord Jesus, just like you comforted your friends, your disciples on that boat when they were in the middle of the storm and they were really scared. Lord Jesus, we ask you to comfort us when we're feeling really rubbish. And Lord God, I thank you for this lovely group of children um, who want to know more about you um, this week. Lord Jesus, I just pray that if they are feeling rubbish, that you remind them that you are their comforter and that they will remember that too. And Lord God, when they go back to school next week, I pray that you keep them safe, keep them happy and healthy. In your precious name. Amen.
okay have a lovely week and enjoy going back to school and i'll see you uh not next week but the week after okay bye